guys, I'm Mo. Welcome back to my art channel. Today I'm gonna to react to a couple of the most famous manga cars out there. Maybe it will become my favorite YouTube show. I can be lazy, don't have to do anything. And on top of that, the artwork will unfortunately be a lot better as well. Why am I even doing an art channel? And I'm definitely gonna butcher all of these artist names, so please don't hate me. I I'm just apologizing up front. We have Kohai Horikoshi, the creator of My Hero Academia. Jump on you! Hi! Okay, he's drawing with a mechanical pencil and. and um, what? What? Can't believe that, guys. This this video is actually recorded in real time, and he's like absolutely killing it, drawing so fast. And I think he would consider calling this one a sketch, but for me, it looks like the absolute perfect artwork already. Every line is where it should be. And I just can't believe how fast he's drawing. Like this video is in real time, and it's just a bit over one minute, and he has already drawn like such an expressive, amazing face. Look how he just pulls out the arms. So, yeah, of course, of course he will just just jump in, just you know, just draw the hands, perfect hands, perfect outlines. By the way, I wish I could understand what he's saying there. Uh, definitely, one of my real life goals is to learn some kind of Japanese. But you know, I'm lazy, so probably that will never happen. He's so confident with his lines that he. He, he is not scared of screwing up a line or anything. I mean, he, he is not erasing even. Oh, he's inking it also. <coughs> what we have to note here is that uh, he doesn't erase the lines. He just straight draws over his pencils without, you know, what a lot of us do. Like, after you did your sketch, you erase the lines. But I think if your sketch is as perfect as his work, uh, you can immediately jump into the inks and just completely nail it. And uh, I'm still blown away by the, by the speed and the confidence. We are like 10 minutes in. He's almost done with drawing and the inking. Now he is erasing his pencil, so uh, we are about to see the finished line work. Oh my god, look at the hands, guys. It's 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 not fair. Probably it is fair because they dedicated probably years and decades to drawing and so they deserve to be so good. So now he's scanning his line work into the computer and it seems yeah like yeah he's using Photoshop just coloring in the flat colors at first and major credits to this dude cuz he is actually doing what I would always recommend it's to rename your layers. So you don't get confused later on. You probably do the typical cell shading, yeah, and it looks it looks so good. It looks so good. Look at this shadow, guys. It's just perfect. It's actually drawing in the shadows first, like drawing the hair is completely black, and then he erases out the highlights of the hair, and so there you will get this really interesting hair structure. And I hate how his illustration looks so good with only flat colors and just one shadow layer and he doesn't need any more than this. So here's the final illustration, looks beautiful. So let's move on to our second artist, which is Kazuki Takahashi. Okay, that wasn't too bad, was it? Jumpadoo! Jumpadoo! I don't know why, but this intro like instantly gives me such cool anime vibes and I would love to go watch some anime right now. It's just epic, I don't know. Let's see what he's doing, guys. Okay, it's a completely different approach. This uh, looks a lot more like I am drawing. Uh, the first sketch is super rough. It's incredible how you can already clearly tell where the hat is gonna be and the hands. And the speed is once again... Oh my god, it's just mind-blowing, guys. Look at this. 40 seconds done with the intro, so it's more like 30 seconds and he's like nailing the first pose. Okay, now he is adding probably one of those monsters, Yu-Gi-Oh monsters, and you can clearly tell that I have absolutely no 
clue what I'm talking about when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! Always was more like Pokemon and Dragon Ball Watcher. Uh, sometimes I watch Yu-Gi-Oh! as well, but not as much, so I don't know. If they if they call them monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, probably I, I think they do. Look how fast he's drawing, oh my god! He's like... Okay, and I think he's already done with the first rough sketch. Yeah, he's already started detailing. But these guys are so incredibly fast. Look how he's just pushing out the hair. They have to be fast when they want to draw manga because they, I think they have such a tight deadline. And can you even imagine like these guys are drawing on, on these series for years, decades. Uh, it's incredible of the sound of the pencil guys. Just listen to it. Now he's completely going into beast mode again. Look. It's insane. But I, I do think it's really interesting that his approach seems to be really different from what we saw in the first video. Takahashi over here is like doing really really rough drawings, searching for a good composition with the lines. I'm wondering if he will lightly erase his lines or if he will also straight ink over this more messy sketch. Totally they are now explaining what he has done so far, which I wish Again, I would understand, but you know. Now he starts with the inking, and let's see. No, no, he's not. He's not erasing his lines as well. Maybe we all have been doing just a big mistake by just erasing our lines. And I don't know how we can even like tell which is ink and which lines are pencils because he's also working with a really dark pencil, I feel. And he's just even just working loosely over his sketch because these claws that you see him drawing, um, they are not even in the sketch. So he is not sticking straight to the sketch, which is, is super interesting, I feel. He's done with the inking and now he jumped into Photoshop as well and he's drawing on this huge on-screen tablet. And he's having a really interesting approach because it's really different from what most of us do, what I do and what we saw in the first video where we start with just completely filling in the page with flat colors only, no shadows, no highlights and then after the flat colors are done and you worked on your color composition then you start rendering and he seems like he just renders stuff step by step so he starts with the hands and the skin and, and already like renders the crap out of the hands before he just even moves on and so he goes part by part which is a really interesting approach I could never imagine doing that and I think it also again shows like that he's super confident and knows his colors knows which colors to choose it's the finished artwork which looks absolutely incredible um, I think the the details are beautiful, really different from what we saw in the beginning. He's working with a lot more uh, shadow layers and highlight layers. Let's move on to our last artist and one of my favorites. It's Aikiro Oda, the creator of One Piece. I do own one of his art books, which is completely mind-blowing. And since then, I'm a huge fan of this dude. He has such a unique style, sketchy amazing fun proportions love that art book and can't wait to see what he's creating okay i think this is just a sped up video and um, it's a bit different than the other ones which is in incredible insane already he's not using a grid or anything he's just straight Adding all those characters onto the page without having a perspective grid or anything. And this again shows us how crazy confident he is in his lines. But I feel like he, we, we actually didn't see it in the video, but I feel like he lightly uh, erased the lines. And you know, drawing a more detailed layer on top. And now we're already at the inking stage. Even though it's sped up, I think he's just incredibly fast at pushing through this artwork. Artists in general who just draw traditionally and use inking pens and stuff where every line can ruin your artwork. You have to be so confident and careful as well. But if you over, over careful with inking, it will probably show in the inking because it will look 
worse than when you just go in and do a really confident line even if this line is not perfect but if you tried inking once you probably know what I'm talking about and oh that's interesting oh that's so cool actually coloring his artwork with Copic markers and I totally didn't expect that and um, yeah it, it's so cool that we have three artists and everyone has a really different approach and still probably in the end they will all look completely awesome and mind-blowing love his color choice it's such a colorful piece i mean usually i'm more uh, interested in like using pastel -y colors but he somehow makes them fit together really well and it looks it looks really good really good love it so far he finishes up with using some white pencil to draw in some highlights which is interesting as well and here is the finished artwork looks absolutely gorgeous as well and uh, so yeah that's it for this reaction video uh, i hope you liked it guys let me know down in the comments if you did and probably we will do a second episode it doesn't have to be manga artists it could also be western art or whatever it is and i will hopefully see you guys in my next video bye bye <laughs>